Hello and welcome to episode 9 in the Princess Maker Let's Play series, being the second scenario in a Plebeia Quest. Now, I've completely lost uh, the microphone recording for this episode. I don't know what happened. Between episodes, it seems like something happened with the microphone. It's probably my cord that is the culprit. But anyway, I'm just gonna play the video and uh, I will see what happens and I'll tell you what I can see. That's pretty much all I can do. I'll just do my best trying to see what it was I did. So I'm looking at my troops. I want them to uh, be able to tear up naturally. We also have to make sure we are making bank. We're full of wine barrels. We have a lot of resources. At this point, we don't really have to worry about our economy. We just have to manage it. So we don't have a lot of horses. We, we, we have less than a thousand wheat, which is pretty low. You do need money for war, though. You need it to attack. Being on the, de on the defensive, you only need the rest of the resources. Money only comes into effect when you need to tier units up, buy them or train them, of course, which is why you want to train them by fighting. Alright, we're awarding some medals, some charge damage to my shielded spearmen. Wait, no, no, no. Enemy charge damage, yeah, yeah, so it's the charge defense, sorry. Got that, thank you very much. I don't remember if I read out what everybody said of the NPCs. I will be reading out the storylines of the uh, scenario, naturally, when Constance comes, etc. Right, we're doing badly with the... Uh, Priest. Oh yeah, because uh, I just sold pagan prisoners. I'm pretty sure I just did. So I'm, I'm being very cross with them because I wasn't really forewarned that selling pagan prisoners would get me a debuff with them. So I decide to, you know, do a 180 and just give them some pagans. Ta-da! And now they are, you know, well, should be a little bit happier with me. Yep, there we go. Bumped it uh, three steps. So unless you want to pay money all the time, you can always just uh, unlock the pagan prisoners uh, thingy, the di diocese in the research menu, and uh, grant them prisoners like that. They are attacking and uh, defending uh, from the barbarians, or were they attacking the barbarians? I don't remember. But they're in a really bad spot right now, because they got me going at them, and they're at war with the Barbarians as well. So uh, all of their troops are going to be uh, spent. Well, they're gonna spend two troops each turn, I only have to spend one. When I, and when I say troops, I mean one general and their troops, of course. Right, just waiting, I don't wanna be attacked by the ranged units for no good reason just waiting for that uh, is it a ram or a siege it's a siege tower i'm pretty sure to come in close and now you see they tried to attack me because i had archers in the front line and attacking archers is a pretty clever thing to do they're, they're weak so i just swapped the lines and they just went back straight away now, the good thing with the siege tower is that you don't have to get re up real close and personal. Uh, they can shoot from afar. And really, I don't need to be uh, physically attacking their their battlements. Um, but if I don't, I do run the risk of having my siege tower demolished. Now, I think a siege tower can take down a tier 3, you know, pretty much on its own. Uh, which I should test, because you can see that they barely lost a third of their health and already one of the three stories of the battlements is gone. However, I I did lose a lot of uh, health on my units. Um, and my morale has 
hit the bottom, so I just have to run away from, from there now. So that's bad on my part. I should have just let the siege tower do its part and just defended it from physical attacks. Uh, so I've learned something from this. I don't think I learned I, I don't think I realized that when I was playing this in person. At least the descent increases. Now you can have a city rebel, which did happen in this playthrough as well. Um, so if there's enough descent, uh, your areas will secede from your empire. So you don't want descent to run rampant. Uh, I'm pretty sure they won't descend unless unless there is. Little person, a little NPC standing on on the area as well. So even if you got full percent, uh, full descent, the the red angry fists in your area, it might still, it might not secede. It will spawn one of them first. So like it, they will spawn an army. Uh, but yeah, I was unlucky enough to not know that at the time, so I just lost Madia. I think. It, I think it is. I lost Madia for pretty much no good reason when that happened. Checking out their armies, see if they are, who will be defending if I attack, or no, they are attacking me, so I, I need to defend. Um, so I'm making sure that after I defend, I might want to go in and attack them. Gabe's is pretty well defended, obviously it's a big fort with several layers of defense, um, so it will take its toll. So defending is way better for me than having to attack them. So I'm pretty happy that they're attacking me. It's way better for me. And it also lets me leave, you know, leaves me to it go on the offense against Leptis. I forget what the Emperor is called. Right, we have a wandering general, somebody we can hire. Kutuz, he, um, yeah, he just repairs walls for free and he's uh, level one, so he's pretty damn crap. It's not really worth it, and I don't have room for him. I need to grow, become a bigger nation, or unlock more tech that lets me have more generals before I can hire someone else on. Uh, we are golden with the research. I don't remember, but maybe we are done with all the research. Uh, I'm pretty sure I would have spent 300 research on, well, anything. We're gonna be buying some wheat so we could sell some wheat to the eastern merchant later on. Probably gonna buy some horses, yeah, because we did sort of run out of horses earlier. Being below 100 is to me running out of, of a resource. I want to be at, at I want to be at at least 100 in any given resource, except for diamonds. Of course, you'll never reach 100 diamonds. I don't believe. We're done being friends with the Barbary Thieves, we finished that mission, or whatever they call it in the, in the parliament. So I just have to make sure they don't attack me later, but relationships have, the relationship has to sour pretty badly before they do. We're in the green with our church.
All right, my ally is attacking against Leptis. Uh, when it says we'll replace Kingdom of Sicily, what it means is they will attack from there instead of me. Like, uh, they will attack as if I, I am attacking, uh, sort of. Because they can't, they can't take any territory that way. But uh, replacing is a bit of a misnomer. Because I wasn't attacking. I didn't have enough troops that were well rested. I still needed one or two to uh, be able to uh, go on the defense. We are being attacked in Madia, which I welcomed. We have no chance at beating this. My troops are better. I have uh, people defending against the ram. Um, so yeah, so since it's not a siege tower, they need to get real close, up close and personal. And they do beat me back with the horses, which is an issue. Because it does let them get real close. I don't remember if, I, if, the, if the walls will hold or not. Um, but it's, it's quite an annoyance. But as soon as their cavalry is out, we should be fine. Their cavalry is pretty spent right now. But yes, we lost the walls. But we won the fight. We will win the fight. They're on the run. I have to kill off the ram. All of their people are going to be able to run away before that happens though. Yeah. It's sad, but we did win. Uh, it means we have to repair the walls though, which is annoying, obviously. Did get us a nice loot. They're choosing to focus on attacking the barbarians. Interesting. Kingdom of Sicily audience chamber. Father, says Constance, you are back again. Welcome, my treasure. What is it today? I was feeling ill and went to see a physician. What? What's the matter? He says I've caught a zombie virus. The medicine to cure it costs 120 coins. What quack have you been seeing? Hmm. You're not a doctor. Stay out of this, civil servant. I have to choose between left and right. Zombie really now. Father, please save me from this. Zombie really. <laughs> Mm, will I give it? Should I? Mm, I mean, obviously, she's lying. Yippee, daddy! You're the best! Of course I will give her the money. Anything for my daughter. Some of what Princess Constance has taken now totals 240. Is this really the time to empty the treasury on things like this? Constance left with 120 coins. What a go-getter. get some war effort resources get an anniversary gift from B the byzantine and uh almoravid i'm trading with them now we sold all of the monastery wine status with the uh, sales uh risk of having a military alliance with the republic of genua uh ending so yeah we need to top that off um, we're waiting on the battle between whoever it was that attacked, uh, Aragon, against mm, whatever they're called again, the Muslim nation. Alright, we are going to use Roger in the monastery, it looks like. I decided not to. Uh, we we could be getting us some nice wine. Uh, oh, the donation list. Yeah, we're getting some. We're donating. Yeah, moral superiority, show goodwill. I don't care. Let's just see. What do we want? We want the. I'm guessing the pagans or the wood. Pagans or wood, which is gonna be All right. We're getting the wood. Maybe that's what I wanted. Probably not. And we get ten wood. Heck yeah. Shall we see what the next one will be? Right. 
Uh, oh yeah, the bonus, sorry. The bonus for the wood will be... Nothing. Oh yeah, something! Get two more wood. Four more wood. Ah, oh, four more wood. And lastly... Four more wood! Not too bad. We could have doubled the wood we got, so... You know, there's that. Right, going to the inn. Checking out who's here. Just some rabble. No, wait. Can we actually hire him? No, 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 no. No, he's... He's an enemy. Could pay him to leave. I ain't gonna do that. So I need... I can use the XP. And police... Yeah. Policing them is fighting them. Yeah, so it, that's just some good XP. They got pirates here. Oh, the brave... Um... Okay, well, if I read that out, whatever. Alright, resting up. Resting everybody up so we can defend ourselves better and go on the offensive better next time. We are not going to be attacking into Gabe's because I don't have any rested general right now. Everybody has a little bit. They've lost. <clears throat> and they have a general at full health, so there's no use in attacking. I can't attack Leptis from over there. So I can choose between resting, which I did, and repairing the walls of Maria, or perhaps Tunis. And the prudent choice is always to rest first and do everything else later. I will be pol policing over there though, getting us some rather nice XP. I won't be buying. Alright. Yes. So, I am hellbent on taking over uh, North the nor North African region. But all I really need to do is uh, destroy the pirates of the Balearic. Um... I think we've paid Constance four times as well, so there really isn't anything keeping us here. Um, I suppose you could try to ma do every action that you can possibly make once and have uh, Maki-chan write about it. Um, if you're looking for some achievements, uh, I can't guarantee that there is an achievement for, you know, everyone um, it's a little it's a fun little side thing though uh, peace I will declare on the Fatimids dynasty uh, they defended Leptis successfully and Francisco was taken prisoner poor Aragonese will probably have him um, paid ransom for I didn't feel like looking at looking it up, but I don't think they have room for a new general anyway. So, All right? Let's see? The Almohad dynasty joins the Okay. okay. Alright, we're suppressing some mustachioed people. Easy peasy. Don't believe we're gonna level up. Oh, maybe? Maybe with the infantry? Oh, do we get a bonus? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Good job.
I'm looking to see who to police with. I'm probably gonna pick up the EXP. Uh, this guy needs to be tiered up. And then we can cash in on some speed policing EXP here. Uh, he might need to rest though. Let's see. Nah, he should be fine. Uh, we need to light more candles if we're gonna do anything. Um, so I think I'm going on the offense here. Saving the monastery actions for later. I need to rest with Kofi so I can still use Roger, Al Yasari, and Alberto. Al Sahi could rest. I don't recall which one I'm using. I'm probably going to be attacking with Roger here against Leptis. As uh, he will stabilize the city and repair the walls after he's taken a city. So I would wager that that's what's going to happen. Uh, it wasn't though. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm attacking with al -Yazar instead. Um, because I didn't think that I would knock down the walls, probably. There's pro probably... There is probably more walls standing in my way still. I'm making sure that I can take this guy on. He's got some weak infantry. But then he's got those pirates, but I still think I might be able to do it with Alberto. Uh, and then, uh, what did I do? Rest I rested, and you know, I'm attacking with him, policing with... Our, um, my fourth general, fifth general, I forget what I put him, what I did with him. I'm looking to see, should I pick up some easy EXP? I will. Um, you don't have to click these ones, you could just end your turn and you'll get everything. Uh, but if you want to make use of those resources, you need to cash them in before you end the turn. Uh, if you're gonna need to use them the same turn, of course. Alright, let's see. Republic of Genoa looks pretty safe. We could probably go to a liaison with them. Uh, but I don't want to take any chances, so I'm keeping my ambassador there. I want to get them up to 12, if possible. All right, they're defending in Leptis, which obviously they would do, otherwise they're just uh, getting a game over. Hungary and Venice is at war again. The Almoravid are having some descent issues since, since they picked up some new territory. Uh, it's time for the council, the acting council. What are we going to submit? We're submitting a proposal. I think we're picking on Castile. I seem to recall. From Hungary? Or Venice? I can't do nothing with Venice. I could do something to Hungary. I'm pretty sure I went against uh, Castile though. So the two bottom uh, options here you can do for anyone and the two top ones pretty sure you have to be neighbors to do. So since Castile has female generals we can accuse him of harboring witches. In which we do. I think we should accuse him of harboring witches. What? How dare you? All right, blasph blasphemous one, says Pope Alexander. I hereby declare the excommunication of Kingdom of Castile. So <laughs> we're just ganging up on Castile here. And Venice is, uh, you know, not liking Hungary going to war with them. Wow. 
A majority vote will decide if the proposal passes. The first proposal is accusing Kingdom of Castile of harboring witches. Which I proposed. Well, we don't get to choose if we agree or not, because we already did the pre proposition. So we're going over there. We got two votes, because we are big, a big, big nation. Um, most people are uh, aligning with me, either because they like me or dislike a steel. They are probably still ex excommunicated as well, so that's probably why. Now we could get the Orthodox Church with four votes or Emmerich with two votes to vote with us um, to make sure we get the votes in. But it's also worth it to make sure that people you like or want to like you uh, vote as you do, because that will give you a diplomatic uh, buff, uh, which uh, is to say once you're done voting, they will like that you voted in the same way. Um, so it, it's not only the votes that count, it's all, also the voter that counts. Alright, I'm trying to persuade Pope Alexander, he's still voting with me just like that, uh, I mean, uh, from from before, but I want to I wanna try and see if I can beat him, because, or beat him, get him to do as I, as I want by beating him in this game, figuring out these symbols. Alright, I got three symbols in the wrong order, meaning that the ninth symbol is definitely one of uh, the four. Um, yes, so there's only one of the first four and then there's two of the second row. But you really need a few turns of playing that game or just big luck in order to make it happen. Let's see, do we, do, do we go for the same guy again or do we go for someone else? Right? Trying to make sure that Giovanni votes like me. Votes with me. And then can I do anyone else? Right, so I'm choosing... Emmerich. Don't recall if he's from Hungary or wherever he is. Alright, we got one right. And then we know what the, th the second one is. But yeah, easy peasy. Two symbols is way too easy. Three is a, can be a challenge. Uh, but four is just so hard. Alright, so we, we succeeded. We accused... Castile, and then there's an excommunication of the Kingdom of Castile. Oh, of course, uh, Kingdom of Castile isn't excommunicated at this moment, but they they did get excommunicated before, which meant that people started disliking them, uh, which uh, will lead to a chain excommunication if you're not careful. So, yeah, they've been excommunicated most of most of the time in this game. Poor people. Poor little Castile. Right. The vote is a little bit more split than before. But people uh, still would rather vote in, um, you know, vote for the proposition. We're going to pick Pisa. I want Pisa to vote as I do. Because I want Pisa to like me. So at this point, I pretty much know that the excommunication is going through. So I only need three more votes. 
There's two people going towards me. Uh, he turned one of them around, so I need to make sure that one more comes in. Yeah, there we go. We got it. And then we're condemning the Kingdom of Hungary's invasion. Which I, I care less of this. About this. Um, I actually like other people being against each other. Uh, and I will always obviously want to fight for the small guy so that the big guy doesn't go get even bigger. So I'm taking Venice's side though. Trying my hand at this game again because I don't I care less about the result of this vote and I care more about trying to win at this game. So I, I really want to win it once, at the, at the very least. So first of all, I'm just trying to get two of the symbols correct, and I failed every turn. Cool, cool. That means the next chance I get, I will have two, two locked down at least. Then I, you know, I still need to fill out the other two of the four. Um, I forget why I why I didn't stay with uh, whoever I did last time. Oh, it's because we're losing the vote, so I, I felt like I should try to win win the vote. Uh, yes. I might have been better off just sticking with the four votes, dude. this point I've pretty much given up he just needs the guy with four votes to come in or three of the other uh, well he needs four of the other guys so I, I feel like the, the game is lost and it doesn't really matter to me either way so two of the proposals paused, <laughs> all concerning Castile. Poor little country man. Once again, we could have let the siege tower do its work. Um, he's still got a healthy army up, uh, which isn't great for me when we do tear down the walls. Uh, but I'm pretty sure what I should have done, yeah, just retreat now. Uh, let them attack the siege tower, just pull out of the city, because I didn't want to take over the city anyway with this commander oh um hmm, okay yeah i'm seeing that the siege tower still has quite a bit of health so i'm trying to get some more hurt in on the opponent at this point though i i, I should already have backed out Um, there's no way I'm beating his guys, so I, I should have just retreated. While I still have the siege tower ahead of me. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably lose one of the, these guys, yeah. I 
do get the XP I want, of course. Um, I did lose the cab too early. So they didn't XP. They didn't get much XP, sadly. Very easy fight. Lost that fight. Very sad. So they were stronger than I thought, sadly. Now it's time for us to send Roger in to take over Leptis, which is exactly what we're doing. Don't even have to pay anything uh, in siege engines because the walls are down. Resting up with Alyazar and Looking over the units of Alberto, seeing if there is anyone. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Gavis is still too strong for me. I only have one... I only have two generals with four regiments. And um, one of them needs to rest up. Al-Sahi still needs to be able to defend. Whenever they do attack. I don't have any candles lit. So I don't want to use the monastery. I still need to be policing. Honestly, I should be policing the descent more than I have been doing. Because at some point I'm losing Madia due to descent. I don't have the money to train troops. Because I spent my money's money on attacking. I need to wait for a merchant or sell off some money. Uh, wine, I'm sorry. I need to sell off some wine. I need to fix my income if I need more, if I need, want more money as well. I'm, I'm choosing to make someone wine so that I get some money at the very least. I'm rolling very poorly here. But hopefully I can sell off two barrels next turn. I need to save some money, so I'm ending some of my diplomatic endeavors. I don't really need this a dipl diplomacy with Granada because I can't trade with them even if I get up to that bracket. The Byzantines I'm doing fine with, the Almoravid um, I need to keep paying for to be able to trade with them. Um, religiously we're doing meh. 
I could be sending some pagans for them to them. Alright. Domenico from somewhere is attacking Gabe's, which is great. Uh, that's Genoa. Genoa is attacking in Gabe's. Very nice. So having a lot of allies really helps out when you have a drawn out war where you're not attacking all of their settlements at all times. They're defending their capital, obviously. Alright, the witch hunt begins. For Castile. I will conduct a thorough inquiry. Come! Emma spends three months in investigation. Her loyalty has decreased severely. So she's on strike. Basically, she can't be used. Her actions are unusable for three months. Uh, Castile and Aragon are having a tiff, which is not going to pan out well for Castile. There is a lot of dissent in the Almoravid dynasty, which is good for me. Um, the, the, uh, um, these guys are still attacking the Berbers. Alright. We're sieging Leptis, we're going in hard, we just need to wipe out their army, and then we're golden. We have a cavalry unit with us, which means that we're gonna be doing great, because he will attack them and deal some damage to everyone. It seems like the cavalry attack will um, do some damage to every unit. That gets a bump back. So unless you got a charge defense unit that nullifies some of the damage, you are done for if the cavalry touches you. Which is great news for me when you have the cavalry. Right, we took over Leptis, we got lots of money and research and all that. And in the audience, uh, their audience chamber, the gates have fallen. And yes, this is the end of the glory of the Fatimid dynasty. Goodbye! The Fatimid dynasty has fallen. Prisoners of what? We have Muhammad, the Sunni Islam native to the North Africa. He's got repair of the walls ability, which is so boring, so common. I hope you're not expecting thanks. Nope, I'm not. And then we have Shajar Aldur, who's a burglar. Uh, getting rid of more descent, which is pretty good, but I got no room for you. And I don't have any money either. I think I was wanting to hire her on, maybe to even replace someone, because I'm pretty sure I still have a level 1 guy. Is he still level 1? No. Hmm. I suppose so. If you only have two troops, you're level 1, yeah. Right, going for these guys again. Oh, I did lose to these guys before because they had a squire. I'm pretty sure that's why. I need to conserve the strength of my infantry units. Because if they get around him, I'll be really screwed. Um, but yeah, the squire ran out of juice. So now we, we just have to take down this one little infantry guy, which is easy peasy. But yeah, even one squire can do some significant damage. Now we're only at war with one nation, so our war cost has gone down. Alright, we're in Parliament, we have these petitions. We will be choosing to be declared 
friends to, with the Barbary Thieves? Possibly. Destroy the Corsairs of Palma. I should be doing that. Can't stress that enough. I should have just gone for that as soon as I could. Um, especially if I get well, if I get rewarded with it and the game ends, it doesn't really matter. So choosing that in the petition for Parliament is kind of nonsensical in this scenario. It's not gonna get you anything. If you succeed, and if you fail it, well, then you failed it, so... Then you will be punished for it. Get more descent. We sold one barrel of wine. We got a little bit of money. We have... Way more money now that we took over Leptis. Meaning that we can just walk into Tripolis. Or Triple I. Tripolis. We did choose to train up Al... Uh, Al Yasari's troops and become friend with the Barbary Thieves. Ah, I forget if we picked the third one. I wasn't paying attention, sorry. Well, that's the end of the episode. I uh, hope I'll see you in the next episode. And take care until then. Thank you and goodbye.